No, I don't believe that Israel is an apartheid. I was in South Africa for five times, and I went to the Museum of the Apartheid in Johannesburg, and what I saw there never ever been appeared between the Israelis and the Palestinians. We have a full cooperation. If you will go to the hospitals, you will find an Arab doctors. If you will go to the universities, you will find an Arab academics. If you will go to the, to the ministries in Israel, you will find a, a Arab uh, a, 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 a people who are working there. And no doubt that by considering Israel as an apartheid, this is another way how to increase the anti-Semitism around the world. As a member of the South African parliament, and in the name of millions of my fellow black citizens of that country, we know what apartheid really was. And I therefore ask those in the United States, Europe, and anywhere else in the world, who charge Israel with practicing apartheid to please stop doing so. You are damaging the truth. You are damaging any chance for peace in the Middle East. And most of all, you are destroying the memory of the real apartheid. There is absolutely no analogy between Israel and apartheid South Africa. In apartheid South Africa, a small number of whites dominated the country. Blacks couldn't vote, had no access to the judiciary, were selectively uh, executed. Um, whereas in Israel, Arabs vote, uh, they serve on the Supreme Court, they serve on universities. Yes, there is an occupation, a military occupation. And if you want to see what it looks like to end the occupation, look at Gaza. And Gaza, the occupation ends, and thousands of rockets and terror tunnels are built from Gaza to kill Israelis. International law does not require a country to commit suicide. It doesn't require a country to give up an occupation as long as there is a belligerency. If this was an apartheid state, the Arabs would not be allowed to be educated beyond grade six, where they could only serve the interests of the Jews, because that's what happened in apartheid South Africa. Education was denied black people. The Arab people would not live in wonderful homes in big communities. They would live in ghettos, like black South Africans did. They would be, they would be exploited to the hilt, working like slaves and earning nothing. They would, they would not be allowed to sit on ben benches adjacent to Jews, let alone travel in the same public transport. On, at every level, the apartheid analogy is, is ridiculous, to be quite frank, but it's, it works. <laughs>